Okay, so for today's edition of Breaking the Internet, I did want to go ahead and show you this graphic. This was the meme that I was talking about. And for those of you that, that don't have the visual that are just listening, it says, please read, in 20 years, there will be enough Muslim voters in the U.S. to elect the president. I think everyone in the U.S. should be required to read this, but with the ACLU, there is no way this will be widely publicized unless each of us sends it on. This is your chance to make the difference. All right, so we're going to real quickly go through this. First of all, I agree that this is an area of concern. We've seen that having a, a, at least a couple of Muslim representatives in office has not gone well in Rashida Tlaib and Ilhan Omar. That doesn't mean that there wouldn't be any Muslims that wouldn't be good candidates, but it's very clear to see that they are not. And also, there are extreme radical Muslims that believe that going into a country, infiltrating it, and having lots and lots of children, sometimes even through violence and rape, are acceptable forms of jihad. Now again, this is only the very radical extremist Muslims, but those people do exist. And see, that's what makes it so dangerous is because it's only the most radical and most extreme that would use this policy, which would mean the radical Muslims would be producing far faster than the kind and, and you know, the Muslims that wouldn't necessarily be a problem. So I agree with the overall sentiment of this meme that this is something that we should be concerned about, that the growing Muslim population in this country has had detrimental effects on, on us. And I mean, look at our friends across the pond, several different countries that allowed large populations of Muslim refugees in had a lot of problems with law enforcement in the following years in France and England. We've seen this over and over again. So I'm not saying this isn't a legitimate concern, but the question is, is it true? The question is, is the central claim of this meme, this graphic, that in 20 years there will be enough Muslims to elect a president by themselves, is that actually true? Well, I crunched some numbers and we'll go to the phones as because I, I see there's a caller online. I, we'll go to the phones as soon as I'm done with this. Let's look, is this actually factually accurate? So just to give you a little context, there's 3.27 million people in the United States and about 3.5 million Muslims. So a pretty small sliver of the population. All right, let's take out all the kids because again, you have to be of majority age. You have to be 18 to be able to vote. So that leaves about uh, 249 million people. And assuming that the rate of children is gonna be close to that, close to the same as it is in the general population, which by the way, it probably isn't, but we'll give them the benefit of the doubt here and just assume that it's roughly the same as the general population. So we can assume that there's roughly 2.6 million Muslims after you remove the children. And since it takes two to tango, in other words, obviously it takes two people to create a baby, regardless of what liberal scientists will tell you. <laughs> uh, it does take, a, it does take a, a man and a woman to create a child. And so after that, you have to half that and assume that the population is roughly half women and half men. So that brings us down to roughly 1.3 million Muslim couples. All right, so according to this, based on the last election, you would need about 69 million votes to win an election. Give it a take a little bit, and of course the Electoral College would also be a hindrance to this because there are certain areas of the country with a very high Muslim population. And so the Electoral College would actually stymie that even if they had enough to win the popular vote that they would have to have them in the right states. So if you take that out of consideration, again, give them every benefit of the doubt that we can on this, that leaves you with about 69 million votes to elect a president. So if that's true, each Muslim couple would need to have about 53 children apiece for this to be accurate. But wait, it gets even better. Keep in mind, to be able to vote, you have to be 18. You can't vote if you're under 18, which means that they only have two years to produce the 53 children per couple to become the majority in this country. So, I mean, this is just blatantly stupid, not even to become the majority, just to become the majority voting bloc. And all of that is assuming that there is not one new voter of any other religion that comes along to cancel it out. So the other numbers would have to remain completely stagnant for 20 years for this to be true, which obviously is not going to happen. So 
I did this just to point out it's wrong when Republicans fear monger about votes like this, and it's wrong when Democrats do it. If we're going to have a discussion about votes and voter disenfranchisement or whatever, we have to have an honest conversation. We have to have it that's actually based on facts or else we're just yelling and screaming at each other. Just in case you were wondering, yes, I am a straight white Christian male and a small government constitutionalist, which means I have no chance of getting any help from the government and wouldn't accept their help even if they offered. Which means I'm going to need you to like and subscribe because my gun collection is not going to pay for itself.